Well, hello, and welcome to this uh, uh, brief, I guess, maybe 10 or 15 minute, 10 and 15 minute recorded session on how you set up your in the multi-store environment of point of sale, the exchange, the mailbag going back from headquarters to the other stores. Right? It's, it's pretty simple, and I will be using the Intuit uh, Exchange service, which uses our servers and makes it really easy. You do have to pay for that, though. It's $20 for, for, for three years, so some absurd cost like that is very simple uh, for that, nineteen ninety five or something like that. So make sure when you're purchasing point of sale uh, pro and you, you want to do a multi-store, make sure you also ask the agent if you're going to be doing the store exchange, which I do uh, obviously suggest, and it's the best way so that it works, so that all the day's activity at the remote stores can be then sent to headquarters, right? And then even QuickBooks can be updated. And then any pricing changes, et cetera, new purchase orders will be sent out to the remote stores by the by the next business day from headquarters. So it's a really key part of the process. So also ask your sales consultant to purchase that Intuit uh, service as well. Okay, so you're looking at uh, Workstation One, I'm a headquarters store, and this is where I want to start. I'm going to go to File Preferences, Company Preferences, and under Multi Store, right? This is headquarters. And store codes and classes, I have two stores. And this is what the classes will look like in QuickBooks when you buy P&L by store one or store two. Now the exchange method, you go ahead and check, click this, and you choose Intuit Service. Now there are other options here, removable media or you know, email or a network file transfer or something. But the Intuit Service, especially if you're in different locations, is going to be the fastest and slickest, and I encourage you to use that. So purchase it. You do your license sync under help. Manage my license sync license out online, and you'll be able to configure it. And what you have to do is put in the actual license number um, of the other, you know, the server station, the point of sale server one station at the other store. And then you go ahead and just click save. Now, I'm going to show you exactly what to do at the other store. Let me share out my second workstation for this. As we'll be seeing now, the point of sale, Carl's, Carl's Computer Shop, second. This is the remote store. So go under File, Preferences, again, same place, Company. And then, of course, under Multi Store, and I'm the remote store. Right? You can have up to 19 remote stores, but one has to be the headquarters. The headquarters does the uh, financial exchange with QuickBooks and does all purchase orders and pricing changes. Right? Remotes can take care of most other things. Of course, you can receive the product at the remote stores. So store codes and classes, I'm number two. And then, of course, uh, exchange method. Configure, and I put in the license number of Workstation 1 at the headquarters store. Now, once that is done, now I'm going to go ahead and give access back to my other computer. And share out again. So once you have that configured, it's as simple as that. Choosing into its service, and you know, once you pay for it, of course, and then putting the license number of POS Workstation 1 at each of the stores. <clears throat> then under the store, you do send files. Now here's the Exchange Center if you want to see it. You do, it does require a password. Okay, so uh, you can do the store to store name. This is going to be a Carl's Computer <clears throat> Second Store. Use choosing Intuit service, so this is the things you have to set up on the headquarters. And then there's the license number for the workstation one at the remote. And I do need a password. You gotta create a password for the configuration. So I'm gonna click set password. And it can be like four to twenty characters. It can be alphanumeric too. I'm just gonna do a simple one into it. Right? Now you also have to do that at the remote store as well. Okay. And now you can send files or receive them, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and Send files using the Intuit service to store two. Click send. All right, click close. So I sent that out. I'll click close this window. Now I'm going to go back to the WebEx console and share out the other computers so you guys can see it. All right. <clears throat> now, this is the remote store. Right. Second store, I'm going to go to stores, receive files. It's 
processing a file in. It's going to find one there under the status if you look there. One file waiting to be processed, select process to begin. Go ahead and process in. And this is how, even though there's two separate point of sale database files at each store, at all, each store is going to have its own workstation one and its own point of sale database file, but only one can talk to QuickBooks Financial, and that would be the workstation one and the point of sale database file on workstation one or the POS service station at headquarters. Very important. I'm going to go ahead and click close, and now I have all the information, you know, that came over from the first store, and it updated my new pricing, the new items, etc. And that's essentially how the store exchange works. You, you send files from the remote to headquarters, make your changes, process it in, update QuickBooks, make any other changes by the next business day. You then send files back to the remote stores. They receive them in to make sure everybody as of the last store exchange is on the same page and aligned. And this is something you could do every day, every other day, once a week. It all depends on your uh, frequency that you want. I hope that was helpful, and you all have a great day.